So we've got Atlantic here. Um, she's got some wounds on her paw pad, so we're going to apply um, a modified Robert Jones to this front limb here. We've got some nitrofurazone, which we've mixed some scarlet oil in. So we're just going to apply a little bit to some 3 by 3s just to kind of help with wound healing before we put on the bandage. So we'll just apply this right to the bottom here. Wands, um, holding the arm extended for me while I place the stirrups just to help keep the bandage up. So one on each medial and lateral side of this limb as best as I can with the 3 by 3s with the little red wonder. And then we've got another little popsicle stick that will just place in between so that the tape doesn't get stuck together while we apply the bandage. We've got some uh, cotton here that will just start all the way at the bottom, just gently rolling up the limb itself. We're just kind of placing this about halfway. Each each roll up is just about halfway um, against the, the last layer that we did. And we're just going to lightly wrap this around the limb. We don't want it to be too tight, cut off circulation. We don't want it to be too padded either. Um, or else the, the limb becomes super large. So we're just going to use about half of that. Then we'll take some rolled red gauze, and that'll be our second layer. Um, again, tight, or not too tight to where we're cutting off any circulation, but a little bit tighter, a little more taut, um, so that it just keeps the bandage on and it doesn't prevent it from slipping off. And I'm just leaving a little bit of that cotton so you can see it up top here. And again, just each layer is going about half of the previous layer there at the bottom. So just kind of very gently rolling this around, not making it too tight. We'll go ahead and take our tape stirrups here. This will just help kind of support the bandage as well as not let it fall. If it begins to slip, it'll keep it a little bit more in place. You can see your 3 by 3 sticking out a little bit, so we'll just push that in a little bit. Then we're going to take vet wrap just as a protective layer here and just kind of cup it around the bottom. This one tends to get a little too tight if you don't unravel it a little bit before you start to put it on. So I like to kind of pull it out a little bit and then start to wrap it around. So each time, not making it too tight, just pulling it. And again, just laying it over about 50%. So coming on this layer about halfway up and just pulling. And then I'm just leaving a little bit of that cotton showing up top there. We can still see the toes at the bottom, so we'll still be able to evaluate whether we put this bandage on too tight. So we'll fill in between those toes, make, their, make sure they're nice and warm. Um, we can also assess if they're really super swollen or not. Um, this bandage will stay on pretty well with those stirrups. Um, so as you can see, the dog can still walk and use its toes and we can still see everything, but it's all set to go.